Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video today, we are going to speak about this uh, gentleman. Uh, but before we talk about him, you know, just to, to and translate what he said, his video made a lot of anger between the Muslims around the world and specifically in Saudi Arabia. Simply, he is a Saudi army officer from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and in this video he announced that he left Islam uh, and for sure you know to do such a thing you have to be very very brave I mean this is really uh, it's like you are committing suicide uh, especially he is putting himself on the screen and uh, he is recording himself by video and uh, you know he is not just leaving Islam secretly you know he is making it public uh, wide, uh, you know, worldwide. Uh, now, the Muslim they think that this guy is a unique. The fact there's tons of th Saudi, thousands and thousands of Saudi they leave Islam. I will tell you a story before I start start translating the story of this guy, uh, translating his video. I mean, I used to have an admin in my chat room. Uh, his name is Saudi Christian. This guy, he used to come to my room, and you know, sometimes he helped me as an admin. You know, I, actually, I made him an admin because he's an ex-Muslim, and he is very smart, intelligent man, and he have a lot of knowledge of Islam too. So, after a year from being uh, an ex-Muslim publicly, this person somehow somebody hacked him, or somebody let's say he trusted somebody, uh, so they were able to find his real name. And then the Saudi government, the Fethi government, who they are the friends of Obama, they arrested this person who was who used to come to my chat room, and they forced him to come to Pal Talk and to apologize in public. And I, I remember at that day there was almost 800 people in the chat room. They, they you know, you can purchase in Pal Talk, uh, um, like whatever number you want to to fit for your room, and this is cost a lot of money for sure. But it was purchased by the Saudi government and they forced him to come in Pal Talk and apologize for every word he said about Muhammad and to announce that he want to be back to Islam and he is asking for forgiveness. But for sure we know that this is all is nothing but, uh, you know, uh, under torture and under forcing him to say those things. And then after that, uh, about a few weeks after that, we heard that he was beheaded. So the Saudi government, uh, is, is the same as ISIS and when they say to you ISIS is not Islam like what James White he say he is telling you a big fat lie and he is being an ignorant and he have no idea what he's talking about all Muslims are ISIS every individual is ISIS the difference between Muslims even those who they are fighting ISIS from the Muslims that they are ISIS but they are from different group to make it simple we have in, in, in every country you have parties. All those parties are fighting over power. But at the end of the day, all of them, they are parties. And they agree upon all what is written in the constitution of their country. They have different names, those parties, yes. They have different agenda, maybe. They have something to come first, something to come next. They agree, disagree in something. But when it's come to Muslims, all of them, they agree in the constitution of Muhammad, which is a lot more ugly and disgusting from ISIS. So any stupid one, he says to you that Islam is not ISIS. He is just fooling you. And you need to ask yourself why, you know, actually, why I'm not even, uh, uh, you know, saying my, my name and why I don't show myself. I will tell you the reason. I am a person who go and I do my mission in many countries and many of them they are very dangerous if they knew me I will not even be able to get in the airport because this cult is a mafia cult they cannot refute you but they will be so happy to silence you with a bunch of bullets or in the best scenario you know they will make a video of you and make you famous by cutting your head so we are talking about a very disgusting ugly cult uh, if you want to speak about Islam, you know, and you live in the state always, you don't go around, you know, etc. That will be maybe fine. Maybe, maybe in USA you are protected. But if you want to go around the world, 
like now in, in, in uh, next month I'm leaving the state going you know I cannot say where actually uh, exactly but uh, this is all because this disgusting religion is nothing but a filthy violent aggressive satanic religion so I'm going to play this video of this gentleman who left Islam and if he ever heard my video I would like to invite him to my chat room and we can have a nice conversation with him and I, I encourage all all those who leave Islam to, 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 to step out because you see the target is easy is only one person speaking against Islam but if all of us we step out and we talk you do not need to make a video of yourself saying you're showing your face no speak out say that you left Islam expose this cult and then you will encourage more and more people to do it Islam is nothing Islam is like a, a balloon full of fart not even not even gas and when you put a needle in it this you know this balloon expose itself with the bad smell is inside so let us hear what this gentleman is saying and we pray for his protection because what he did is very brave and you Muslims you have to face it everything he said in this video is absolutely true I will translate for you let us hear what he said my name is Abdul Wahid Abdul Muhsin I live in the city of Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia. I, I work as an officer in the, in the Saudi army and I am a secretary for a higher rank officer. He is like a lieutenant general. And my, my boss is Ali Saad Al Murai. I used to I used to witness the the war in Yemen, which is uh, it's called the Asifat al Hazm, which means the uh, uh, the the firm uh, storm. And this, and this is the name of the attack uh, uh, Saudi Arabia used to call for its attack on Yemen. I would, like to, I would like to announce first by this short uh, video that I announced that I left Islam the reason I am leaving Islam because this is a religion designed to control people and it's made specifically for any dictator who would like to control his people let me play it again so to be sure I did not miss anything yeah, it's a, it's a, you know he said in Arabic fabrika fabrika mean it's fabrication it's, it's an English word so it's very clear that Islam is nothing but a fabrication made exactly designed exactly for dictators to make it so easy for dictators so you can you can abuse others and you can be a dictator exactly as the Saudi family number two wherever Islam goes wherever Islam goes the country go law is in science in education and 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 the uh, arts and uh, everything uh, like uh, have to do with art and the ethic the ethic will be destroyed the ethic of the country wherever Islam goes so what he's saying wherever Islam goes country will go in the cave time the the, the uh, science will be dead uh, uh, arts will be dead and ethic will be dead will be destroyed the ethic of the people so when Islam enter a place always ethic destroyed and soon soon I'm going to go to Germany and I will uh, 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 publish what I have as information about the crimes of the Saudi against the Yemen against, against the Yemeni civilian which I was a real witness on all the reports on it 
وهي ممكن ان ترقى لجرائم حرب and it is and it is a war crime against uh, 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 human human and uh, human rights and I hope I will be I will I will seek in my comfort the comfort of my mind or let us say uh, uh, you know in, in my heart so this is the this is a very short video as you see and this video is making the Muslims going so crazy and so mad but I want the Muslims to be honest. Name for me one thing is not true. Of what he, this guy he said. Yesterday we have in the chat room a Muslim was telling, telling us that the Jews are cursed. He was saying the Jews are, uh, you know, they are cursed. So I said to him, if the Jews are cursed, why they are the most successful people in, his, in, in the world? Why they are number one people who carry Nobel Prize? Why most of the scientists are Jews? You know, the Jews are not even 20 millions between the population of the world. But if you see the Nobel Prize, they are controlling, you know, if I say 30 to 40 percent, I'm not exaggerating. If they are cursed, how come they are the most rich people? If they are cursed, how, they, how come they are the most successful people? So you know what, if this is what cursed mean, curse me, my friend. So what this guy is saying is absolutely true. Islam is a curse itself. Wherever it goes, the whole nation will go down. You see, Germany is not Germany because of the land. Germany is Germany because of the people. You change the people, you bring you bring Islam. You do not need to change the people. Actually, change their belief, and then Germany will become a piece of garbage. What a different, what a different, between uh, 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 you know uh, east of Lebanon, uh, of Beirut, and west of Beirut. Nothing. It's the same city. It's the same city. You go to the west of Beirut, you will find yourself living in the ca cave time. You enter the east of Peru, I challenge France to have what they have there. What is different? The different is who is, what is the belief? The east of Peru, they are Christians, the west of Peru, they are Muslims. Wherever, even in the Middle East where we live, Christians area, Christian streets are dirty, Christian, Muslim streets are like, I don't want to say. This is what is true. Like isn't it isn't it like isn't it obvious that what he said is absolutely right? You know, imagine until now there's no theater in Saudi Arabia. Imagine until now women they cannot drive a car. Imagine until now nobody can draw a picture. Imagine until now they, they stone people to death, and they lash people to for 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 sm smoking a cigarette or for for drinking alcohol. So, everything he said is perfect for dictators. All what I need to shut you down is just to say he smoke, he sing, he play music, he play chess. Do you know that in Islam playing chess is a crime? Muhammad he said the one who plays chess is the same as somebody putting his hand in the in the blood of the swine. So what he's saying to us that when you are living in society, it's called Islamic society, real Islamic society, not not society by name. There's many Islamic society. They have nothing to do with Islam, you know. You see their girls, you know, they are, they are going to night club, etc. They are living their life. But real Islamic society, then the country will be garbage. Saudi Arabia, after 70 years of unlimited oil, which means unlimited money, until now this country have more than 65 to 70 percent of the population do not know how to write or to read. That is Islam, my friend. Share this video, like it, subscribe. And God bless you all. Thank you.